Good morning from Detroit. This is Zach Hample back with you at Comerica Park for the second straight day. Still hoping to see Miguel Cabrera hit his 500th career home run. And I hope there are more empty seats today than there were last night because Shohei Otani was pitching. It was packed. There was really no room for me to work with. Today it's a 1.10 p.m. game. Gates are opening any minute. You can see all the people at 11.30 a.m. So there's no batting practice. Hopefully I can get a toss up early and then relax and we'll take it from there. Let's do it. Okay, so it was not relaxing for me at the start. We all knew that was coming, right? The Angels pitching staff was getting warmed up along the right field foul line and after I'd struggled so hard the day before just to get one baseball, I was already stressed about getting shut out. So yeah, for a few minutes, I moved around in the seats trying to find the best section and the best row to post up and eventually I got Jose Molina the team's catching coach to chuck one to me over the tall protective net. Thank you! Oh. It's funny how such an uneventful catch can make me so happy and relieved. Soon after that, I noticed a player signing autographs for a bunch of fans down in front. This was relief pitcher Mike Myers, and speaking of the netting, look how annoying it is. I think that every stadium should have retractable netting to make it easier for players to interact with fans before the game, so I gotta give Myers extra credit for still finding a way to get it done. Thankfully, the netting did not get in the way of the folks who wanted to say hello to me. Once again, there are lots of good vibes here in the Motor City, and I'm truly thankful for everyone who supports and embraces my baseball insanity. Now, when I saw some of the coaches heading toward the dugout, I figured there might be another chance to get a baseball over there, so I headed that way, and sure enough, Ali Modami, who's been very cool to me over the years, spotted me in the seats and hooked me up. This ball sailed a few feet over my head, but no big deal. I had plenty of space to track it down as it trickled away from me through an empty row, and then I gave this ball away to another kid and decided that I needed a change of scenery. This game is underway and I'm changing things up a bit by starting out in left field. Of course, last night I was out in right and it was so packed. And today it's also crowded out there. But here in left field, in the back half of the section, there's a ton of empty seats. So I'm hoping that Miggy launches one to left. Maybe he'll bounce it off that little canopy down in the bullpens and it'll bounce back. So um, yeah, bottom of the first inning for right now and he's on deck. We'll see how this goes. Well, Miguel Cabrera made a whole lot of people a little bit happy. Of course, everyone here wants to see him do well, but we all want to see him go yard. And so I've decided I am, as you can kind of see, heading over to right field because just even looking at the way he takes pitches, he's striding a little bit late. Um, so I really think he's going to be going oppo. So if I can find any room down here, I am going to go for it. So yeah, let's see. Oh. 
Mr. Cabrera is having himself quite a day. That was a bases clearing double for three more RBIs. So he's now two for two with four ribbies. Right now it's the third inning and the Tigers are on top seven to two. And I gotta get two friends in this video right here. And I'm actually gonna move back and stand between them. Come in close guys, look at this height differential. We have Dave Lally, six foot six, and his son, David Lally, six foot four. I guess something good is happening in the background. Um, this dude right here, David, is a future major leaguer. You've just committed to go play with Notre Dame, is that right? Yes, sir. 17 years old, and how hard do you throw? Uh, I've been up to 95 miles per hour before. Ooh, and what else do you throw? Uh, fastball, curveball, and changeup. All right, so definitely look for this guy. He has already told me, and by the way, I should just say that I met these guys 11 years ago in Baltimore. You can see some photos up here on the screen of me with David when he was six years old. And so we go way back and I just told him that Carlos Beltran holds the record for throwing me the most baseballs, 38. You think you can break that record? Yes, sir, I can, I will. <laughs> You're gonna hand me the whole bullpen bag someday? Yes, sir. I love it, man. So if you get a good offer from a team, you might not even go to Notre Dame if it's a high round draft pick, yeah, if the money's right, if the pick is right. So we'll see, but chances are you'll go to college and then take it from there. So uh, you want to tell everybody your Insta and I'll put it up on the screen. They can follow you. Uh, my Instagram is david.lally5. All right, you can see it right up there. So yeah, show him some love, give him a follow, look for him in the bigs and good seeing you and good seeing you. Good seeing you also. All right. fifth inning right now and I am taking a little jaunt into foul territory because Miggy just batted he grounded out there were two home runs by the Tigers in the last inning so they're now on top nine to two and Shohei also batted recently so got the GoPro on my head let's see if we can get a little POV foul ball action before I run back to the outfield I couldn't resist when I saw that Miggy was still going for oh, it. Oh yeah, number 10, Justin Upton. Let's go! Some of us have flights to catch after this game. Are you you know what? I'm gonna lean over there. I'm just taking this game. Oh. right now because the Tigers have been hitting so well this inning that Miggy is now on deck and I flew here from New York to catch his 500th home run not to catch a foul ball and guys let me just tell you a little bit about how crazy my travel has been over the last week and a half nine days ago I woke up at home in New York I flew to Florida the next day I flew to Chicago. The next day, I drove to Iowa for the Field of Dreams game. Then I drove back to Chicago for two days, hit up a White Sox game. Then I flew to LA for two days, did some TV stuff. Then I flew home to New York, spent 12 hours there. I was asleep for six of them, decided at the last second, I got to fly to Detroit for Mickey's 500th. So now I'm here and I have a flight home tonight at 8.45 p.m. So as soon as this game ends, I'm racing to my hotel. I already checked out this morning, gonna grab my stuff take a taxi to the airport and fly home. So, 
I'm like five videos behind right now in terms of the editing. So by the time you watch this, you know, it's gonna be well past the date that I filmed it. Perhaps Miggy will have already hit number 500 a while back. But uh, yeah, just a little snippet of what my life is like during the season. It has been nuts lately, but it's a lot of fun. That was a crazy half inning right there. The Angels put up a six spot in the top of the sixth. And now the Tigers only have a two run lead. It's 10 to eight. And Miggy is about to lead off the bottom of the sixth. Damn it, Miggy! Oh, Miggy. Miggy, Miggy, Miggy. But look who's up now. Well, Miggy should have one more at bat coming up in the bottom of the eighth. In the meantime, there's Shohei drawing yet another base on balls. This was among the crazier games that I have ever attended. With the Tigers winning 10 to nine in the top of the eighth, Max Stassi hit a two run homer to put the Angels on top. And then Shohei, who'd already been on base four times, hit a sack fly for an insurance run. In the bottom of the eighth, everybody rose to their feet one last time to see Miguel Cabrera, hoping that this would be the at bat when he could get it done and send home run number 500 sailing into the seats. Unfortunately though, Miggy was a little bit anxious, swung at the first pitch, shattered his bat, and grounded out. And after that, there was a mass exodus. The attendance today was about 20,000, and it seemed like half of those people headed for the exits right after. Now in the top of the ninth, the Angels hit another home run, and before the bottom of the ninth got underway, Angels right fielder Joe Adele threw me his warm-up ball. So it was pretty cool to get that one, handed it to the nearest kid, and that was pretty much it. The Tigers could not get it done in the bottom of the ninth, and that's where this game ended. So much offense today, 30 total hits for these teams. Final score, 13 to 10. The Tigers were winning 10 to two, and they blew an eight run lead. So that was pretty tough to see, but you know, crazy fun day overall. Glad to be here. Wish I could have seen Miggy do it. Tigers are hitting the road. I'm not gonna be there. Toronto and St. Louis next, but I'm just flying home to New York to relax a little bit. Anyway, I got to go, but very quickly, three baseballs today brings the lifetime total to 11,578. Um, that's it. One last look at the field, and I am out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Damn it, Nicky.